Welcome to the old Loomis channel again. I, I'm, I'm making a little modification or change in the uh, heat sink on the two AA mag lights. I found something a little bit more stable. One thing I want to mention real quick though is I'm using a particular TIR optic that comes from CNQG, CN Quality Goods. The height of the optic is the reason I'm using it. Okay, It works for what I'm doing with these mag light, two AA mag lights, with the optic and a, and a one millimeter thick star and that copper round sitting down right at the top of the threads where the step is in the, in the head. Right in the, in the, and I know you can't see it, but there's a, there's a step inside of there um, where the top of the threads are. That gives me a stack height where when I turn the, the bezel in that it actually tightens down on that optic and tightens the whole stack together and holds it all in place and that's why I'm doing it. If you use a different optic from somebody else you're gonna have to do all your own measurements all from scratch okay my measurements aren't gonna work so I'm, I'm just telling you that so that you know if you get in that situation if you're using a diff different optic You'll have to do your own stack height measurements yourself and do it from scratch. Now, I'm still using a three-quarter inch round uh, to start with. Then I'm I'm still using the half-inch copper pipe at five millimeters thick. Okay, and I'm still using a five-inch or five-eighths copper round on the bottom of the heat sink fill it up with the copper shot and solder, solder it all together. What I've changed is I was using a plastic center post for the positive and now I'm using a copper center post for the positive. I'm doing that because I can solder that copper center post on and it's really strong whereas the plastic was just glued on and I didn't really feel real good about that plastic. Now that's a half inch uh, or I'm sorry, a quarter inch copper tube. One quarter inch copper tube which measures like, well, probably more like three eighths because it's quarter inch ID. <clears throat> quarter inch copper tube and it's eight millimeters high, eight millimeters tall. Okay. Then on top of that I still use my plastic washer and I still use a very thin copper positive terminal. I think this is oh, uh, uh, 12 thou thick. I think that that little piece of copper is probably 012 where it's 010. So it's very thin. Solder the wire to it, run the wire down up through down to the LED and and uh, uh, tighten it all together and pull the wire tight when you solder it and it, it, it keeps that contact in place. And you can even put a little thermal glue on it if you want to, which I do just so it's it's held a little better but it's not going to move around because the wires if you tighten the wire up as you solder it onto the LED it pulls everything tight okay um, that's that's my change so I'm using a three-quarter inch copper round I'm using a, uh, a half inch copper pipe which is 5 8 OD I'm using a 5 8 copper round on that then I'm using the quarter inch copper pipe and a quarter inch copper pipe measures uh, 8 millimeters tall, the plastic washer and a very thin copper contact. Okay, um, That's the change from what I was doing. I think it's a lot more stable than the, than the, the uh, old ones were. The other thing that I've done now too is uh, I'm a lot closer now uh, in that copper touching the inside of that that body okay so if I'm off a little bit and I do these by eye I don't I don't do perfect center I do them by eye when I solder them so I could be off a little bit so what I do is I open that body up with a file a round file I just take and open that body up uh, and, and and give me a little bit more room a little bit more play inside that that center opening so that I don't have any problem with that copper touching in the center and, and causing the light to turn on even though you haven't twisted the head. Okay, That's the modifications that I've done with these two AA mag lights and I just wanted to update so 
you know what's going on when you look at the original video uh, hopefully you'll also look at this one too and see the changes thanks for watching